Hello, it's Joseph Party. Today I'm bringing you the Budget Should All combo tutorial, and this first replay is going to be me doing the really excellent end board with you, and you just have the nuts opening hand. Without further ado, let's get into the replay. First, we're going to start off by normal summoning Fluffle Owl, getting a copy of Pulmerization to hand, linking that off for Al Mirage into Secure Gardener, then going into Shadal Construct, triggering Wendy and Construct, setting the Ariel to our side of the field, sending off the Reshadal Incarnation, getting the Performage Trick Clown going into Claw Sheep. Construct then triggers its effect, but that's not actually supposed to trigger, but you can still chain block it so that I get to banish the Construct, resumming the Construct, triggering the Claw Sheep's effect sending Shadal Schism, setting Schism, and Super Poly. So now we have a bunch of different options we can go into. We have Construct, which can send off the Wendy, which can go into Hedgehog. We also still can go into Schism if necessary to be able to go into Winda. This is just really showing off at this point, but there's you also would be able to have the card added into your hand, which you then could trigger Mascarena and Cloth Sheep for which should be able to allow you to have a unicorn, which would also be a bounce as well as your floodgate with a window. And that's replay number one. Here's another replay, this time playing against a computer that has a deck that has A, band cards, and B, disruption. Without further ado, let's get into the replay. We're going to start off with the Mathematician. It gets Ash Blossom, but we do have the follow-up with the Foolish Burial sending off the Shadal Beast to draw a card, getting us the copy of the Fusion. We're then going to make Shekinaga and pass from here. We do still have access to be able to make a copy of Winda on our opponent's turn, when they have, which will then be able to create the Floodgate as well as a backup monster negate. So at this point, they can't really go into much more because they're allowed to one more summon, and that won't be able to beat over it because even if they actually had the core bane in hand, we would be able to negate it with Shekinaga. At this point, we can just go to the battle phase and just start picking off our opponent's stuff. But even when you're able to make a very small board, it's still going to be very effective because Winda is just that effective of a floodgate against most decks. And if you can keep it protected, then you still should be able to win the game through most hands. But... That's the replay if your hand is a bit less than optimal, but you're still able to make a good board going first. For the final part of the tutorial, I decided to place the Shadal deck against Airpaws Dragoon, and, well, this is basically what that deck does. It makes Dragoon and passes. So we're going to see if we can out this Dragoon. They're going to discard a card, triggering the effect of the banned card. Then we're going to go still be able to go into a lot of our different plays because both of the, of the two cards that we could have resolved would have been able to allow us to do this, which will allow us to be able to make enough material to be able to go into our extra deck out for the Dragoons. And also, just go into a whole lot of different plays with Kralash Sheep as shown in the first one, but we have the material to just keep going for a little bit. So we're going to go into Battle Phase, take out the Dragoon, attack over that, Put the wind in defense mode and then a swing for lethal. And that is the combo tutorial video for how to play budget should all combos.